Hello, I'm Chris. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to do clutch control in start-stop traffic. If you're learning how to drive a manual car and struggle with the clutch, then this video is for you. Let's first have a look at clutch control in an empty car park, and then we're trying traffic. If you know about the basics of clutch control already, then skip straight to the traffic, using the chapters. To be good at clutch control, you first need to know how to find the biting point. So I'll show you that first, and then we'll have a look at how to use clutch control to creep slowly. Let's get ready to go. Press the clutch all the way to the floor, select first gear. Press the gas pedal slightly to get the revs up to about one and a half, but you don't have to be precise as long as the car makes a little more noise like this. This is ideal when moving off on a flat road to help the car not stall. Now slowly raise the clutch to find the biting point, also known as half clutch in some countries. The first part of raising the clutch doesn't do anything, and about halfway up you'll feel the biting point, not in the clutch pedal, but the back of the car dips. The front raises a little, and the engine sound changes slightly. Once you've got the biting point, keep the clutch still. The car wants to go, and the only thing holding it back is the parking brake. For practice, try pressing the clutch all the way down and finding the biting point again. It's in the same place every time. Practice getting the biting point quicker. This will help for situations like when you're at traffic lights, they turn green, and you don't want to take ages to go. The biting point is in a slightly different place in every car, but it's similar. You can get different amounts of biting point. If you raise the clutch more, then it can overpower the parking brake and make the car move when you don't want it to. You've set the gas and got the biting point. Check all around and if it's safe to move off, then release the parking brake and keep your feet still for about three seconds once you're moving. Going faster than a walking speed, above about 5 miles per hour, gently release the clutch. If you release the clutch too soon, then it might stall. Or if you release the clutch quickly with gas, then you'll zoom off. Let's now have a look at how to drive really slowly using clutch control, and then I'll show you how to use clutch control in traffic. I don't have the parking brake on and I want to creep forward and turn right really slowly. To do this, release the foot brake, a little gas, biting point. Clutch down loses the biting point so the car slows down. Raise the clutch to the biting point to creep slowly. Dip the clutch a pound coin thickness to drive slower. Hold the clutch to maintain this speed. Then raise the clutch all the way with gas to drive faster than about five miles per hour. So between naught to roughly five miles per hour, you have to use clutch control. If you don't use clutch control, then the car will stall if you try and drive really slowly. I've stopped and I'm not using the parking brake. I'll release the foot brake, gas, and hold the biting point to move. Off gas, and clutch down to slow down. Gas, and hold the biting point to creep. Off gas, clutch down, and brake to go slower. Then gas and biting point to creep. And this is clutch control. Understandably, some new drivers are worried about wearing out their clutch. With use, some car components will wear out over time. Eventually, even a clutch. But holding the biting point for about three seconds as you creep is what it's designed to do. If you often hold the biting point for long periods of time, then you are going to wear out the clutch quicker. It is possible to creep forward and move off without any gas, but there's more chance of stalling especially when you want to move off quickly, or if you're on a hill. So whether you're driving a diesel or a petrol car, I'd always recommend pressing the gas first, then get the biting point. Bear in mind pressing the gas a little as you creep slowly using clutch control helps the car not stall, but it won't affect the speed, as the clutch is in control. But releasing the clutch quickly 
with lots of gas, will make the car move off fast. And of course, once you've released the clutch, then pressing the gas will make the car accelerate. When you press the clutch down, or raise it to the biting point, try to keep your heel off the floor. If you don't, there's a good chance your foot will gradually slip up the pedal and get stuck. You'll then have to do an awkward wiggle to get your foot back down. Although some people like to rest their heel on the floor once they've got the biting point for a bit more support. Not everyone likes doing this, so as usual, do what works best for you. And in case you didn't know, shoes with thin soles will help you feel the pedals better. It's time to leave the car park and find some traffic. Whilst you're waiting, you can put the parking brake on, select neutral and rest your feet. But only do this when you feel comfortable to do it, as you don't want to panic when moving off. When you see the vehicles further ahead starting to move and their brake lights go off, then get ready to go. Clutch, first gear, gas, biting point, vehicle in front moves, release the parking brake. Now feet still for about 3 seconds, then slowly release the clutch. If you release the clutch too soon then the car will either stall or zoom off. Keeping my distance from the vehicle in front, I can see them braking up ahead. So off gas, clutch down and light braking. It's always good to see a bit of road in between you and the vehicle in front, just in case they roll backwards when they move off or if they break down, you'll be able to get round them. I've managed to get up to second gear in this traffic jam. Now the vehicles in front are slowing down, so off gas. Gentle braking, clutch down, ease off the brake a little to make it smooth, and then brake again. First gear. Now a little gas, biting point, Feet still for about 3 seconds, then slowly raise the clutch with more gas. Pressing the gas a little when moving off helps the car not stall, but it won't affect the speed as the clutch is at the biting point. But coming off the clutch quickly with gas will make you move off faster, which in slow moving traffic is something you don't want to be doing. Keeping my distance from the vehicle in front means that I can brake early, lightly and smoothly. Straight to first, off the brake before stopping, a little gas, biting point, then off gas, clutch down, let it roll, brake ready, light brake in, and then if you are waiting for a period of time and you feel comfortable, parking brake on, select neutral and rest your feet. Now if you don't have time or don't want to use the parking brake and neutral, then you'd be waiting like this, with the foot brake on and clutch down. To move off, gas, biting point, feet still for about 3 seconds, and then slowly release the clutch. Looking past the car in front, they're slowing down. Off gas, clutch down, very light braking. Off the brake, a little gas, biting point to creep really slowly, Holding it, then off gas, clutch down, very light braking. Bear in mind when waiting in traffic with a clutch press for long periods of time, it can increase wear on the clutch. So if you are going to be waiting, then get into the habit of selecting neutral and releasing the clutch. Another road, another traffic jam. Have a slow approach and you might not need to stop unnecessarily, which will save you money on fuel. Now gas and biting point to creep slowly, off gas, clutch down, let the car roll, the hill is slowing me down. Now gas, biting point to creep more, off gas, clutch down, let it roll. Now gas, biting point, off gas clutch down, now gas and bite to creep again, then off gas, clutch and foot brake. Parking brake on for a hill start, gas, biting point, parking brake down, feet still, 
now driving faster than a walking speed, slowly raise their clutch with more gas. Try not to speed up to the vehicle in front, otherwise your driving will be more stressful and less smooth. Off gas, clutch down and the uphill will slow me down. Now brake lightly, parking brake on for a hill start and the parking brake makes hill starts so much easier because now I can set the gas, biting point, release the parking brake, feet still for about 3 seconds, then slowly raise the clutch with more gas. Watch this video next to find out how to tackle a junction on a hill, without stalling or rolling back. Thanks a lot for watching, please like and subscribe as it really helps us make more videos. In the meantime, keep safe on the road and bye for now.